Hello and welcome back to another little arty vlog. This week I'm working on another commission that I received through my Etsy store. I was very excited when I received this one because it's of Hogwarts Castle and I've been wanting to make something like this for ages so it gave me a good excuse to give it a go. I was originally going to paint and film all this in my studio but it's been a bit of a miserable day outside. I woke up this morning and it was just pouring down with rain so I thought okay I can't even be bothered leaving the house and even though it's not raining anymore it's just blowing a gale outside. So instead I've set myself up in the dining room. I've got my classic Winsor & Newton paints, my favourite paint set ever, and today I'm laying down the first layers of paint for this commission. So a couple of days back I sketched it out with pencil as you do and then lined it with ink and I left most of the details out with the ink because I found for me at the moment it's easier to actually put down paint and then put more details in with a pen afterwards so that's what I'm going to do with this one but today I'm just focusing on just painting the castle because I want to get that finished and I'm not going to work on the surrounding hills or the background at all so it's just the castle so that was the plan for today and I'm happy that I actually got it done as well of course I'm recording this voiceover after the fact I was thinking about doing a whole little vlog thing but for one reason or another it just didn't turn out and I couldn't really be bothered setting up the camera so that I also look Look decent so I thought I'll just put all my energy into making sure that this commission looks decent and just film the process and leave my face out of it. So I hope you're okay with just the voiceover. Usually the reason why I don't put myself on camera is just because I can't be bothered making myself look decent and so I just think well the artwork can do all the work and I'll just paint it. <laughs> So this is my second commission in a couple of weeks and my third or fourth fourth commission total, I think. And because I'm still in the early stages of all this art business stuff, I found that doing these commissions and having people ask you to actually do artwork for them, it's definitely both a trigger for imposter syndrome and also a bit of a solution for it as well. I remember I got my first ever commission early last year after I started posting my artwork on Instagram and someone just messaged me through Instagram saying that they liked my building styles and could I paint a picture of their house for them and of course I said yes and jumped at the idea because that had never happened before that was before I started selling on Etsy as well so so that was my first proper sale um, of my artwork which was super exciting and along with that, as you can imagine, just came the imposter syndrome because I haven't been professionally trained in art and my art style is quite basic compared to others and etc etc, all that sort of self-doubt talk that you give yourself. And yeah, that first commission piece, the initial stages of it was definitely very hard to do because I was constantly doubting what I was doing and if I'd be able to actually pull this off and the fact that somebody's given you money for a job suddenly you feel like there's a mounted pressure on top of that. So working on that initial commission last year, that was definitely an eye-opening experience and um, it taught me a lot about how little self-confidence I have when it comes to my art. But anyway, I got through it, I painted it and sent it off and, and she was really happy with it, which was good. Um, of course, when you receive those messages where they're like, I love it, in your mind you think, oh, they're just saying that, it's like a pity thing. And you don't know, it actually could be, who knows, but I guess you just have to take it at face value and hope that it's sincere. Regardless, um, I kept on going along and then I eventually properly started posting to this YouTube channel and also adding to my Etsy shop. And like I've talked about in previous videos, both selling stuff through Etsy and um, publishing these videos, they have definitely contributed a lot to my self-confidence in art. And, and even though working on commissions since and also sharing my artwork online, even though I do still have um, some self-doubt about my abilities, over time it is getting less and less which is very good and the reason I'm talking about all this is that I definitely experienced a bit of a change today when I was working on this commission because usually in the past when I know that I am painting in front of a camera or I'm doing an artwork for somebody or the fact that I'm even working on something that I know I'm going to try and turn into a print and sell whenever it feels like someone is watching or could be purchasing or whatever I do always overthink what I'm doing a lot more and I can't really get into that art zone because I'm constantly being so self-critical of myself today though felt a lot different I just completely jumped into that very mindful realm of just 
paint the artwork and just let it flow and just do your best more or less. And with that came a lot more confidence and in one way or another I felt more in control of the artwork and um, not so timid around it, if that makes any sense. And both painting a commission for someone today and filming it at the same time, that, that's usually a double whammy for me where I'm overthinking everything, but today it seemed to flow a lot more natural. And I just stopped caring about the fact that someone's watching me paint this, which is you watching this video, and someone's also paying for me to paint this, uh, which is the client that has ordered this commission. So with those two things happening, I was still very confident in my painting and I definitely think that it has shown through this painting today. I think today's whole illustration session has gone very well, um, actually better than I thought it was going to turn out. And I think after I've added the pen work as well, it's going to bring out so much more detail and just uniqueness about the illustration. Um, I really think this one's going to be fantastic. And what am I getting at here? <laughs> I think it's just that my confidence has seemed to grow over this time and um, it was just nice to sort of realise that today. So that's great. I have a bit more self-confidence, which is always needed. <laughs> and what's the point of all this? Because I don't want to be self-indulgent, um, even though most of this video has been so far. Basically, I guess the moral of the story is that you have to just keep pushing on when it comes to these sorts of arty endeavours or, or anything actually with confidence, geez. Um, I think it's just that exposure therapy. After a while you sort of stop caring and then you finally do get in the zone and um, and hopefully you do stop overthinking and being so self-critical. I mean all that self-consciousness and everything, it is a constant thing that I think you have to deal with and have to manage. Well it's definitely something that I have to do but over the last few months I definitely feel like I'm sort of getting to grips with myself and with my abilities and skills and hopefully not being so harsh with myself. Anyway, that was definitely a ramble, wasn't it? I was going into this video thinking, oh, I'm going to talk about just, I don't know, what I've been enjoying lately or something, something nice like that. But we've gone into the harsh realities of self-criticism and realising your full potential, sort of. <laughs> but maybe I'm hoping that was somewhat useful for you. And if anything that I said was helpful, then there you go. Please take it and... Um, use the information if there was anything that I said and if not I hope that you at least have enjoyed this little painting speed paint thing um, and I hope that you sort of like the half finished product I imagine that I'll probably upload the finished version to my Instagram so you may want to have a look on there hopefully that will be out by this video but if not just go and check my Instagram I'll upload it at some point in the future and I think that's enough for me for now so thank you very much for watching. If you are suffering from lack of confidence in your artwork, then honestly just keep going. Just keep putting stuff out there. And I'm really crossing my fingers for you that eventually you'll just stop giving a damn and just relax when it comes to artwork and just trust your abilities and your skills. There we go. Positivity for today. <laughs> I'll see you again very soon in another video. Bye.